Sometimes I just like to go right in with the conversation. Where yeah. It happened. Uh, the problem I have is I got into the beer last night. Actually, the seltzers, which oh, I try gotcha. not. I don't know why I tell on myself, but yeah, I got into the seltzers, and then it was, at one some point, the they just opened the bar up, and they're like, I went to pay, and they're like, oh no, it's on. It's yeah, and then the scarcity complex kicks in. Twelve drinks later, and now yeah, we're and here. I have a, beer in every pocket and i'm like what am i doing and then, but it was cool because i like went back i ended yeah. up i'm not supposed to even go back there but i ended up back like by the catering thing cool and then i was like the coolest guy for five minutes because i had beers to hand out yeah oh, and then yeah. once the beers ran out like i was not interesting to anybody anymore yeah quests like that only happen at festivals you know that's <laughs> yeah. that's the fun of this thing yeah you just never know what's gonna happen that's awesome yeah yeah it's exactly so sorry that was a side quest right there i like it day four Aftershock, nothing more. Dude, I'm really stoked because um, you get, did you not play Rock? You just played Rocklahoma, right? Yes. And I, I think I was busy back, back in this type of an area, so I missed it. But today I'm going to, I'm going to get to go catch the set. Oh, badass. And it'll be my first. So. Oh, very cool. So well, what welcome should I to watch the family. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We, uh, <laughs> We come into the crowd at the end, so you could watch oh. out for that. Uh, Dave Draymond might stop by and do a little guest appearance today with us because he's what? featuring on one of the songs. For, no way. Uh, that we have at radio right now. So, yeah. yeah. That's that amazing. That might happen, you know. So, so. Uh, d- did I not just read that you guys just have a big tour rolling out with Disturbed, right? We did, yeah. Uh, just this last week we announced it's uh, Disturbed, Daughtry, and Us starting wow, in next a- April. So, that's a lineup, dude. I'm I'm so pumped. So we 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 heard about it, you know, a couple months ago, and it's just been fingers crossed, you know. Like, did you like, hear anything? Did you hear anything? Calling our manager all the time, just wanting this to happen. Yeah, yeah. So is it? I don't know how many dates is that going to be. Is it all U.S.? Uh, it's all U.S. Um, it's probably like 20, 25 shows. I can't. I didn't count the shows exactly, but it'll be like a awesome. proper like six week tour. I hope you come so. near us. We're kind of out in the sticks, so I usually have yeah. to drive a couple hours but i'll drive for that one for sure yeah for yeah sure. i can't remember how far up the west coast we're coming but man it's this is my favorite area of the country to be in and we're here the least it's always so sad where are you from i'm from san antonio texas oh, okay. so nice. san antonio is nice yeah that's kind of like the start of western u.s i feel yeah. like you know like yeah, the, the nearest city to san antonio on the west side is el paso which i think is 600 miles oh my it, god yeah like the desert begins massive. yeah oh it's way too big so that's crazy so uh, I've been asking this question because my birthday's Halloween and we're getting close. Do you have any? Do you have any big plans for Halloween? Uh, no, not really. Do you dress up? Uh, I would like. Sometimes I do. I, me, and, me and my wife just moved out to Asheville, North Carolina, okay. and obviously it just got hit by that hurricane. Oh, so I don't even. Is everything know. okay out there? Everything's okay at our house for sure. Good. Uh, the community Good. was definitely definitely took a big hit. Dang um, man, you know it's hard to. I, so it's a f- I got off tour, like, the day that rain stopped, mm-hmm. so I just kind of came into the destruction side of everything, and it's oh, no. it, it's been it's been devastating to see, for yeah. sure, but, um, but man, uh, if there's a, ever a group of people that's going to pick up, pick it up and put it back together, it's those North Carolinans. Like, yeah, they're, that's it's a, good. It's a very robust group, so. Well, our heart goes out, because yeah. I was watching some, it is like, just utter devastation, dude. It was crazy to see that stuff on TV. Yeah, things you wouldn't expect from a mountain town, I guess. Like yeah. flooding, hardcore flooding, and the trees, there's just, in the places where the trees fell, it's bonkers. Well, and I've never been there or anything, and I see, it's gorgeous. Yeah. I didn't know it looked like North Carolina looked anything like that, but I, it's Brent, gorgeous I didn't area. until right before I moved there. I was just <laughs> like, wow, this is here. <laughs> Who knew? But, How do you uh, like living there? Pretty sweet. Yeah, I, I've dug it. You know, I'm an outdoorsy guy, um, mountain bike, oh, you nice. know, motocross, stuff like that. So no it, shit. Yeah, so it's, I mean, it's a mountain biking mecca for sure. Um, we got a little acreage that we live on, uh, you know, side of a hill kind of thing. So That's, we're having fun. So do you do, do you do motocross or do you do like the enduro stuff? Um, I, t- I grew up more in the motocross scene for sure. Um, I'm not great at any of it. You know, I'm comfortable on a dirt bike and I'm kind of That's obsessed ki- with it. But, you know. I'm That's not, where I'm, I'm at. Yeah, yeah. I'm like. My hip hurts, and I don't want to do anything to, like, compromise that any further. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was out riding with one of my neighbors, like, two days before this, and I'm like, oh. got to be careful. You know, Dude, I almost put band, it into a tree. So, anyway. Do they, do they, like, yell at you, like, Dude. 
if you get hurt, uh, man, so we're going to be really butthurt. <laughs> yeah, I, I got hospitalized a couple years ago uh, at the track, and I got one little talking to, but it was in the middle of COVID, <laughs> so there were no shows. All was good. Oh. I didn't break my hands or my legs. You know, I uh, oh, hurt, dude. got a bunch of skin loving and... You know, oh, man. collapsed a lung, had some Jeez. fractured vertebrae. Well, on a dirt bike? Yeah, yeah. I just, I'm pretty sure I got hit by another bike. I got crossed up on a jump, you know, laid out on the landing. Holy um, shit. And, I, it, you know, You're, I was on the blind side of the jump, so I'm pretty sure someone came over me and just smashed into my side. Oh, my God. But well, I'm glad I you lived. Yeah. Yeah, that could have been probably way worse, but... You know, every crash, you kind of feel that way. It's just Honestly, like... Honestly, if you're doing <laughs> stuff like that, then I feel like... I feel like I feel like you're a little better than you're alluding to on a dirt well, bike, because I'm I not going to put one in the air. <laughs> or at least more than, like, a foot. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, I'm okay, I guess, but it, it's fun. It's a great hobby, and there's a lot of, like, good spiritual metaphor, I feel like, on the machine, so... Yeah. I, I, you know, calculator uh, risk Dude, stuff, I think but. that that was some of the best therapy that I learned, and I, I actually was mount, I mountain biked, I don't know, daily probably for, like, five years. Yeah. So, and it's... I don't know. It was at a time in my life when I really needed, like, some clarity, and it provides that. It's weird how it does. Yeah. Something about the ba the balance sports, you know? Yeah. And I never thought about that. Yeah, and where you have to, like, put your vision, too, when you're moving that fast. I don't know. There's something something about looking ahead always. You know, it's very yeah. metaphorical. Wow, like, yeah. And you just That's actually a cool way to put it, because yeah. I never really thought about that. And you kind of let your peripherals take care of... You have to... Tr it's a lot of trust involved, I feel like, in both sports, you yeah. know? Because you, you keep your vision ahead, and meanwhile, your body's just, like, either keeping the bike in the rut, in the corner, dodging the tree, something yeah. like that, and it's kind of magical how it works, so... <laughs> I, I went over my handlebars one time, and my buddy's dad's, like, a big mountain biker, and he kind he was kind of like giving me pointers and stuff when I first started out. Yeah. He's like, dude, you can't look at your tire. That's why you did that. He's like, you got to look out there. Don't yeah. pay attention. Dude. Don't watch the stuff happening right here. You're, that's, yeah. I think that's what happened to me. I got caught up like on the side of a rut. Oh, yeah. And I started to like climb it and it felt weird. And then all of a sudden, nah, anyway. Dude, I know. It happens so fast. <laughs> and then you'll spend years in post crash analysis. Like, <laughs> yeah. what happened to me that day? Well, the best part <laughs> is I had a GoPro on. So, oh, cool. So you could then it was hooked to the bike. For some reason, which I never would do, but so like I went over, and then you could like see my feet <laughs> exit the scene. <laughs> That's the and best. And then like I roll off into the dirt. It was really funny. Uh, yeah. Then I put that happy birthday to the ground by Andy Samberg with oh, it. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah. I love that. Okay, well yeah. I don't want to take up too much more of your time, dude. I, the, on, the only other thing I've been asking is like, what do you got coming up that's exciting for you? It doesn't have to be music. It could be whatever you want, but. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, you guys got a huge tour, I'm sure. Yeah, That's pretty exciting, you know, but. I, yeah, I think everything musically right now is super exciting. Just released an album, you know, uh, everything's going real well at radio. Uh, yeah, I'm super pumped about today. Aftershock's yeah. a real special festival for us. We kind of got discovered here, like, in 2013. Um, I won't go into that long story, but, yeah, I mean, next year's going to be cool. Got that Disturbed tour, headed to Europe for the uh, oh. festival season, which is so fun. Sweet, yeah. And then we should be doing another European headline at the end of the year, so we're going to get to go twice. If you got your suitcase, dude, I'll, yeah. Yeah, I'll just jump in your luggage or something. Dude, yeah, just let me know. I, I need to get over there, because all I hear about is how awesome those festivals are. They're, they're neat, you know, and... Like every big band in the world is in Europe, uh, you know, yeah. in the summer. It's just kind of yeah. crazy the amount of people, the paths you cross. And there's so many of them. It's bonkers. In like a six week, eight week period. And I, I, so. heard, I hear that the like, I don't know, the whole vibe over there is just like intense for rock and roll and, and metal. So, yeah, yeah. You know, it was remarkable. The first time we were over there, we were walking around, uh, went to like some random bar after we played. And uh, I think we we're in Glasgow and everyone's on the dance floor dancing to like Nirvana and Papa Roach. And I'm like, rock is still cool here. Whoa, you that know, is kind of amazing. Not, <laughs> like, not that it's not cool in the U.S., but yeah, to just... It's they're the thing. Like, they're dancing. They're, they're dancing in the club to rock. Yeah, to rock. To not Damn. remix to, like, original, just this is, you know, smells like back teen shit. We're leaving. We're going to Europe. <laughs> yeah. Because that sounds amazing. Yeah, it's I, I want to move there. All right, man. Well, yeah, yeah. I want to take up too much more of your time. I know you guys Pleasure are busy. Pleasure being Great talking Can't. dirt bikes with you. Hell yeah, dude. I it wish, never happens at these. Honestly, I could sit there. I could sit here and do... You should. If you guys ever come through Idaho and you have your dirt bike, hit us up because we have some really... Oh, nice. Fucking amazing single track. Yeah. Dirt that, bike and mountain bike. I would love that. Yeah. I think we have, like, 
And the cool thing about Idaho, don't tell anybody. This is a fucking secret. But Hell yeah. you leave on your dirt or dirt or mountain bike, and I've went like 30 mile loops and never saw another person. Wow, that's cool. So that part of it's like, don't tell anybody that. Yeah, no, you don't want to clog those beautiful yeah. isolated yeah. trails up. Yeah. No, yeah. Do you have a sat phone on you in case anything happens? <laughs> that's the only downside, right? I probably should. <laughs> And I, I go alert bracelet. Do they go out in the bush? You know. Yeah. Ah, I've fallen. I can't get up. I probably should do that. Yeah. <laughs> I never really thought about it, but everybody's always like, "You shouldn't go by yourself." And I'm like, "Well, I have a weird schedule, so that means I just won't get to go." I know. I do that too. I ride by myself a lot, and it's you shouldn't though. Like it's because it's dangerous. Like you're. Is, out, yeah. What if you break both legs and you're just on a hillside by yourself? You know, in a spot nobody can see That's you. That's true, but you're like way more careful though. I, I feel like I don't know. Yeah, maybe not. That's true. Know. That's I, true. I mean, it hasn't happened yet, right? So we, yeah. we're doing something right. <laughs> yeah, we haven't got caught anywhere yet. All right, anyway. man. Well, super appreciate you. Yeah, and appreciate I can't wait to watch the set. We'll yeah. be over there. We'll be Kill over there rocking. Take it easy, everyone. Thanks. Thanks.